Assalamualaikum cool, ladies and gentlemen this is Tio Wild and I'm Katapu and if you're here for the first time this is Vertical Screen yes Vertical Screen as an automotive or automobile engineering channel and where I try my very best to bring all the mechanical engineering or automotive engineering concepts to your doorsteps for you to understand how these things work on your cars on how this designs on how these mechanisms actually work on your vehicles well today i am actually at a very very exciting place it is an undisclosed uh, setting as well but it doesn't matter this is just uh, something that i want to do and i believe you're going to enjoy it right now and right at the moment well uh, like i said from the beginning of this video assalamu alaikum well i'm not too very good uh, with my Arabics but well I think this is a highly highly exciting Arabic that I just spoke well if you have seen this for the first time then well I should tell you that this is just a sign of maturity well I believe you are going to love what I'm going to talk about today this is vehicle screen and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe to the channel to watch more exciting videos and make sure that you put the notification um, bell icon on so that when I unleash new videos you will be having the first hand information on how to deal with all this um, mechanical engineering or automotive engineering um, concept well so today well like I always say I will be talking about vehicles and today I have a baby on my left hand side with fingers crossed this is actually a Nissan Navara and which I'll be using as my case study to make my presentations um, today well like I say my name always remain the same Tiobal Enam Katapu and I shall actually be talking about the, um, the details on the descriptions on the side walls of your car type so that you wouldn't be found wanting when you see those numbers or those ratings on um, the vehicle's car ties or um, the, your vehicle's ties you wouldn't be like in a dilemma or you wouldn't be uh, like a total demolition where you don't understand how this concept how these things actually work and so it is a very exciting moment and i think i should be doing this for you to understand these things in detail it's quite like kind of deep, difficult thing or um this is not actually um any cumbersome cumbersome stuff that you you need to read or probably and um, that's this is not rocket science it's just some basic stuff that you need to be explained to so we shall start from um the details of the ground and for you to understand these things the nitty gritties of it in just a few seconds to come so well i have my baby here and let's see what these things means in just a few minutes or the few seconds to come join me vehicle street all right so ladies and gentlemen um this is what we have here this is the the car tie as we have here and this portion of the tie this um this dimension or this very side is actually known as um the the side wall the circumference of the tie is actually known as the side wall and when you look at the side wall there are some descriptions or numbers that you find on all vehicle um ties and so this description which are located on the side walls that's exactly what i'm going to talk about and like i always say if you haven't subscribed please please do well to subscribe to this channel for you to learn more on how these things work uh, on your car ladies and gentlemen welcome back and so we are going to look at the side wall so when we talk about the side wall as this very portion of the vehicle this is what we refer to as the side wall um, that is the outer layer um, of the car tie that's where we can see the circumference of the outer layer and that's what we refer to as the side wall or the vehicle so we have two side walls actually one um, which is out the outer section in the outer section the other one in the inner section so we can see so every vehicle ties has two side walls the side and the other end of the car tie so with this then we shall be looking at how these things actually mean so we can see um, from the figures um, the first we have the LT 235 slash 70R16110 slash 107 X. So the LT actually tells you the light is that this vehicle is actually made for light track 
Vegas, like the Chevrolet Silverado, 1500, the Ram 1500, the Nissan Titan, the Toyota Tundra, the Nissan Navara, which is the vehicle we have here. We also um, talk about a whole lot of, of vehicles. So this vehicle is actually uh, actually made for this class of manner of vehicle. So you don't just go for any kind of vehicles and then fit any kind of style beneath them. This will actually be um, atrocious in this case. So the first thing we have here is the 235. This figure that you see here, the 235 or 235, actually talk about the section width and this is measured in millimeters, uh, millimeters, millimeters, I beg your pardon, millimeters. Uh, so when you talk about the section width, it, it, that is the distance from one end of the side wall to the other end of the side wall. So from this side to this particular uh, part of the tie is known as the section width and this is actually measured in millimeters and so you should see that this um, the distance from the other end of the tie to, to this side should measure 235 uh, millimeters. It shouldn't be more than that. So if your tie is below this figure and met for this vehicle then I think you should consider changing your ties or should look for a different tie which will actually correspond to the values uh, which are meant for this vehicle um, exactly so well so that is it so if you see 235 it simply means that the distance from the other end to this side of the side wall should be 235 uh, millimeter right so the next thing we have here is the 70 which is actually the aspect ratio the aspect ratio is actually the ratio of the height uh, um, of the side wall actually this dimension to um, the the width of the side wall so this is actually recorded in percentages so this is actually in percentages so this actually talks about the aspect ratio which i'll be explaining in detail in the next video uh, on this very channel so the r here is actually um, um, what we refer to as the radial construction the radial construction so the radial construction simply uh, explains the kind of tie design or the vehicle tie design that has been fitted under this vehicle that's what this means that the radar construction in a more pragmatic sense uh, we shall say them that is the um, the cord plies the cord plies uh, which is always at 90 degrees, which has been arranged uh, in, in 90 degrees to the direction of the travel so the next thing we have here is the 16 year that is um, the distance of the, the the diameter of the rim so the rim is actually uh, measured by side to side and this is actually in diameter so the distance or the dimension of the rim um, has been measured um, to be 16 so when you are fitting the ties to the rim it shouldn't exceed this value that we have here the next thing that we have here is actually the load index the load index is 110 and the next or the very last thing is actually the speed rating it means that the tie which has been fitted to this vehicle shouldn't exceed this particular speed well you can drive beyond the speed but it means that when you exceed this very speed 107 it means that this can pose some dangers to the vehicle um, the, the vehicle style and in a more pragmatic sense that it means that this vehicle uh, will be able to generate some heat or the tire will be able to generate much heat and which will actually be unfavorable for um, the driver or those on board and this can affect the tires uh, uh, longevity as well so if we talk about these descriptions is very simple it's not anything um, too cumbersome to uh, understand so like i always say this is what this means and we shall be looking in detail more of this um to come man i am so highly excited for today's edition of the video that i brought to you um on vehicle street so well i'm signing out just like i sign in uh in arabic i shall sign out in arabic as well so i'm going to say goodbye in arabic so this time around it is why done well i believe that should be a very exciting arabic that i've just spoken well take care and see you soon.